Hello. I decided to do a little bit of drawing. I haven't done it for a long, long time since last year. And I think it's the time when I believe everyone can benefit from some drawing that I called drawing calm, drawing mindfulness, drawing self-centeredness. I will be using a hamsa, the symbol of protection. And I will position my paper vertical, like this. Easy for my hand. So you have a bigger hands, maybe. So I'm adjust accordingly. And the first thing is about the hamsa. The hamsa, you know, it's a universal symbol of protection or maybe blessing in some cultures. And it's called like, uh, you, you all seen this symbol. It's something like, it's known, most of all, it's the Middle East. Like five hamsites from Arabic five. And like this, and like this. And also quite used as protective, some drawings. India is also used, and it's an ancient symbol. The dates back predates in Christianity and um, all the other religions and Judaism and Islam and Buddhism. It's an ancient symbol that's probably known from from around the world. So what we'll be using it and we'll use our own hand. First, we'll use our hand to protect ourselves. Fresh page. I will use my hand. I position my hand like this. Shape it accordingly. I choose the color of the marker you would like. I, I think I'm going to use purple today. So I will outline it like this. We have three. So you can draw a symmetrical hand up to here, or you can just put your other hand and draw a similar shape. Continue and and connect the two. So now, now we have a, a basic outline of Hamsa, our protection symbol, with your own imprint. And uh, right now we can start adding some neurographic lines. If you feel like drawing some symbols inside, please go ahead and anything you you would like to create inside and you shape the way you like it. So, if you, but it's not everything. Well, next to it, it's a symbol of protection. The protection that goes around it. It's similar to our mandala when we're creating a circle out outside. So it will be exterior shape. So I'm creating boundaries around myself as like a cocoon on myself, like an egg shape. Or rather, I would like to say egg shell. You know, you see the shell and the skin and peel of any vegetable and any fruit protects or the nut and seed protects what's inside, what's more important inside from exterior uh, environment. And it protects it as long as you need, as long as you need that core to become ripe and be able to survive on its own. So that's outside interior, but we also would like to draw the exterior. Interior that protects from inside, it's like lining, and exterior, that's exterior shell that protects from the influence of the outside world. I mentioned being self-centered and within ourselves. 
Yes, I believe it's important nowadays because if we do not re remain calm and peaceful within, what will we manifest in the world? If we're anxious, if we're agitated, this will not add any help, will not be helpful to our immediate environment, to our family, to our friends, and the community. You'll just be adding more agitation and anxiety into the world. Just uh, And the world needs to be calm. It's all this, everything that's happening right now. It's, it's the escalation of all the human vibes and energy that state of unrest that's been gathering, accumulating in our hearts, in our essence for a long, long time. And that exterior of, well, I create exterior now lines, that's lifelines, and they create, they touch our shell, and they continue. Those who know, I'm just drawing field lines. Life continues. What do you think? Just they touch, they touch the shell, they go around it, and they go away. Maybe more waves, creating more waves and around it. But this exterior shell, that's protection over us, shelter within. We can do as many as you would like right now. So as you can see, I added more lines. Life the flows, energy of life. Life flows, continues flowing. But I know that the shell, the exterior that I created outside protects me. If you feel more, you need more security within yourself, just you can do extra. Just use your a few more lines, just add strengthen it if you're not sure. Just strengthen it. You're protected, you're inside, you're protected. And I, I can see it, it's like an ocean, you know, the wave coming to it, they touch your vessel and they flow away. They touch your vessel, I don't want to say crush, they touch it. And they flow away. Again, we come. There he is. Way comes, flows around it, and goes away. So you can create as many lines you need. And when you're satisfied with an, with the number of lines, it's never it's never late to add more lines. Just put it where you feel. Just follow your feeling, how many lines you would like, how much agitation you would like to indicate around. No, the agitation. And let's say energy. Life continues. There are many events, many events in nature, in life of people. Life continues, life flows. Or where are the flow in it? So now it's a good time to start adding routing. So anywhere he, you see intersections, let's let's do a little bit of rounding here. I have many lines and I, more than I had expected. So it will take me some time to do rounding. Just take your time. It's a slow like meditative drawing. I'm, I don't expect anything from it, and I didn't prepare it. I just had this idea, and which I decided to share with you. It's 
So we created enough, enough lines outside to indicate the flow of life forces, life around me. And I also rounded the intersections, corners that I've seen. Maybe I missed some, but anyway, that's not, doesn't disturb me anymore. It's nice and, and soft. Just do rounding as much as you need to feel comfortable, secure. Just like re relaxation. The next one, I will pay attention inside. What happens inside? Now when we have protected ourselves from external forces, when I mentioned self-centeredness, I don't mean egoistic. That's the one that we think only about ourselves and forget about our family, friends, and everything around us, life around us. No, what I mean by self-centeredness is just gathering your vital forces within and acting from within, from your, from your essence. So that protection that serves, that your calm, that inner strength is not disturbed. So what we can create now, think about the symbol of anything that will indicate you. You are safe inside. You, your membrane here around, it's like egg, egg, you know? The egg. You can imagine the egg and the egg shape. It's something that's in, inside. It's in, it has an egg shape. Something beautiful. Something is inside of you. And like a, a chicken, it's not time to come and meet the world yet. So when we're protecting, protecting that, it's development. So now we create the shell, strong shell. This is the membrane that holds us within. And now we can develop. Think about what would you like to develop? Any symbol, any symbol that speaks to you, maybe the heart, a circle, You're welcome to add more lines if you feel like. Or just fill it with the lines and I don't know with your your same sign of protection, but also your own imprint because this is your hand. I would, I probably I'm drawn towards a spiral, symbol of spiral, the ancient symbol of spiral that always that indicates coming in and out. It's like drawing within the space. But and like to, I'm going to draw it in a different way. I'm going to draw it in a way that shows that I'm centering my strength somewhere from here. I start it and I'll start turning it coming in first. I'm coming in towards my center, towards my essence. Come here, if you're drawing a spiral with me, and think about it. Stop breathing in and out. What would you like to express in this world? How would you like to help those around you, your community? And I'm slowly coming out, 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 out. Maybe I'm not ready to come out of my shell. Or maybe I am re ready. Like for, for example, right now, that's me coming out of my shell by delivering this simple class presentation. And maybe, I don't know whether I'm ready to come Maybe in some way, just a little bit. You can do it one more time or another. You can connect with the lines. Oh, 
probably draw some. I may do it one more, more time again with the final marker. If you have, beautiful, I have the same purple color and the liner. So I can create finer lines with the liner. I can go create this journey again toward the center with a final liner. So anytime when you need to help yourself self-center, remember the drawing. Come inside in the spiral towards your center. You may create some intention. See, stand towards the center, so a little bit breathe in and out, and unfold spiral. So like can you, can you can see I'm using my neurographic lines. You're welcome to use other colors if you feel like you don't have the same marker. And I just do this on the lines. And so I just feel this area. Maybe I need with a, a little bit more lines here. Or other figures. I'm just feeling the space just a little bit more. Figures, you feel like uh, adding circles, yeah, you're welcome. It's up to you, and uh, it's just based on your feeling. I just right now I feel like using just lines. Maybe we come out just a little bit of fine line. I can take it outside, and I'm feeling like I'm ready to. You know, um, we, if you know the shell, shell is, is allowed, to, it is breathable. So. so you're not sealed completely inside here, communicate with the world. Maybe I'm not just ready to break this shell, my eggshell and come out. Okay. Also this is, I can do some rounding with this fine marker. When I'm satisfied with these lines, for now, I'm feeling I added enough lines, I can start coloring colors. At first, I apply the color that I feel like connected most of all, it's like more a purple color. And I guess it's radiating from this, my essence that I indicated. Adding blue to my uh, purple to make it more bluish. More bluish. some more sunshine oh yes yeah 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 the sunshine
fresh color, getting more. The green, the color of the spring of growth. Getting the color of the spring of lightness. And you can, uh, this is my, my drawing, so I'm just using the colors that I like, typical colors that I use. If you have any other color, any other feeling, please go ahead and use. There's no restrictions, no su even suggestion. I, I don't want to suggest anything. Like, please use your own intuition. So I'll try a little bit of red. Just I'm first. I'm feeling color and seeing whether trying to feel whether. I'm feeling okay whether this color feels good for me or not. More, more pencils and try other colors. So maybe some more, more gentle like this. Pink, rose color. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, I like it gentle. Maybe it's this gentle. It's a different shade. I mean the lighter first. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit purple, this color. Trying. So it's orange. Okay. Let's see. Orange feels good with yellow. I'm working with the values, the different varying the pressure. the colors I question whether I would like to add more colors here or the shell hmm Thinking about what color to add is a shell purple. Hmm, no. Blue, maybe dark blue. Not sure yet. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite, like uh, two coins. Yeah, 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 I like it. So just to show, it's my, my idea. So it's your idea to create, to choose any color you, you feel like adding. Yes. Um, I just from experience, I know if a green or a blue it doesn't work. I can uh, turquoise. Okay, it works. So the background. It's very. Uh, have a pale orange. That's probably easy. I, I don't want to create. As, and my focus is here. So if I can create background, I just very gentle colors. It's good. 
like uh, I like this like the turquoise and light orange beautiful combination and again it's one of those colors that I know if it, nothing works this color will work I'm going to use I'm going to use that one. very gentle so again the rose color I'm not ready to venture outside yet. Well, that, that's why I create a nice, safe, warm environment around me. It works like my imagination. So if I imagine it, it's friendly, it's safe. If I draw it, if I think about it, here it is. That will be manifested in the... That depends on my impression, my environment, on my thoughts. I don't need to color everything, I just few colors, maybe a little bit of a blue here, gentle blue. a little bit more on the colors before I finish this drawing. I may work a little bit on the lines later. To complete this drawing, to make it really new as neurographic drawing, if you're familiar with field lines, you can also draw the field lines. I know that they, uh, if you know neurographic enough, they're the field lines that connects us with the world around us, with the outside, with the environment. They're strong forces, and we align ourselves with. So with those lines that carry what they call, you know, this theory of the field, that everything that surrounds us, right? I can use one. And use probably another one. One around the hand and it takes outside. And there's another one. I feel like I need a third line, of course. I will probably it's coming from the same origin from up and lifting me up. So I'll just draw the line coming through my and and up through the center and up and I will make it more st uh, stronger and if you can see if you notice uh, the direction of my line how I drew it it was direction up uplifting 
And again, if you, we created many connections, many corners, and I will add more lines here. Oh, not, there are not lines, rounding. Now I can round all the new intersections, corners. So for this rounding, we'll create connection in the field line and image that I drew before and also soften the impression. this drawing a little bit longer. Meditate a little bit on it and we'll include it in the final recording of this of this video. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you all the best. Please remain calm mindful and have a very nice day. Thank you.